Devin, and I'm in Norway. As I travel the world, I'm learning about different kinds of food. My mom introduced me to Leva, who had her own cooking show on TV. She lives in Bergen and loves making classic Norwegian food. She taught me how to make a favorite Norwegian snack. Today we're going to make something called pinnebrød, which means bread on a stick, which is a it's a really fun thing that most families do in Norway when they go out camping and hiking. We used flour, baking powder and sea salt to make the base dough. So we can just throw it in here. We mixed it together. And and then, then you can have the chocolate chips and I'll be added some thyme and oregano. Add a bit of honey. We used honey instead of sugar for sweetness. Extra virgin olive oil here. Mm. And then I think we just need to add water. Next we added water. Since we want to wrap the dough onto the stick, we want it smooth so it's easy to work with. So now we're all done with our uh, dough and we can get ready for our hike. So what Norwegians usually do is uh, they put this in, um, actually in a plastic bag uh, and then just put it in a backpack oh. um, and we're ready to go. So together with Leva's family, we took the funicular up the mountain. Suddenly we were above Bergen. I was so excited to make bread on a stick. Been abroad. Hiked up to a scenic lake with a fire pit all ready for us. We brought our own firewood, set up a hammock, and made a fire. Yes, I did it! Yeah. The woods were full of sticks, perfect for roasting the bread. It was a game to find the perfect sticks. Leva taught us how to wrap the bread dough around the stick. We were feeling very Norwegian. It took some patience. The chocolate is starting to melt. <laughs> nice. It takes a little while before it's cooked, so just like a regular bread. Look at this. Look at oh, Devin, it's fine! It's fine! How do you know when it's done? Uh, well, you see on the outside, and it also should come easily it's off like, from this. Yeah, oh. it would look a bit like this. Yeah. So as long as it's not too thick, this one should start getting. But then you just take a bit of it to taste, and then you see. And if it's not done, you keep keep cooking, cooking the, right? Yeah. It took some patience, but in a few minutes, our bread was ready. This was such a special day for us. One we'll never forget. Goodbye from Norway. Thanks for watching Adventure Family Journals.